This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some homes. All right, welcome to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show. We're proudly coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios. And right now, Frank, they have the turkey special. So if you want your carpets or your tile or your hardwood floors, area rugs, upholstery, all those things expertly cleaned as you're getting ready for the holidays with no harmful chemicals, you need to go to one place and one place only, ZeroResSacramento.com. That's ZeroResSacramento.com. And tell them that the radio realtor sent you. My name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere of real estate. And if you've got a question for us or maybe just a comment or you're just ready to work with us to help you sell your home or buy a home, you can reach us on the Radio Realtors hotline at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us 24-7 on our website at RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. And we've got a great show for you today with these topics. First off, we're going to talk about rent versus buy in California, which is right for you. We're also going to do an interview with a rep from Butterball Turkeys, and I guess she's the real deal, Frank, so it's going to be really, really good. And then we're also going to have an interview with Farnoosh Vahedi, and he is from Empire Home Loans, and it is going to be a wonderful show. So make sure you stay tuned. And once again, you can get a hold of us on our Radio Realtors hotline anytime at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. Or again, you can use our live chat option 24-7 at our website, RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. That's right, Frank. Well, the decision to rent or buy in California, it depends on a lot of factors from your income to the amount of your down payment to the average rent in the area to how long you plan to stay in the area. So on the Radio Realtors today, we're going to crunch some numbers for you to find a definitive answer to whether it's a better time for you to rent or buy a home. This ought to be good, huh, Rob? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Rent or buy. This is one of the toughest questions for any prospective California home buyer to address. And the answer is going to depend on several different factors. Yep, Frank, from the local market forecast to your income to your financial goals over the years, you need to weigh multiple considerations before you make a decision. But renting has many inherent advantages. As a tenant, you aren't responsible for paying taxes or the upkeep and maintenance of the property. That's true, Frank. And if you got a leaky roof, you just call the landlord. You got annoying neighbors, you can give 30 day notice and move to the other side of town. But at the same time, what about all that money you pay in rent every month? That's gone. Because when you rent, you've essentially given up future profit for present day convenience. That's right. Now, compare that to owning a home. When you own a home, the buck stops with you. If the water heater fails, you've got to pay someone to come out and handle it. Or Rob, if the local city council votes to double your property taxes, you have very little recourse except to pay. That's right, Frank. And if you've got some loud neighbors, they move in next door, you better brush up on your conflict resolution. But that might all be worth it because a home is one of the safest and most lucrative investments you can buy. On the other hand, Frank, the carefree tenant is never going to see all their rent money again. And as a home buyer, you're steadily building up home equity month after month, year after year. And when you sell your home, all that paper wealth, well, it becomes actual wealth. That's right, Rob. So with all this information, let's look at the numbers for California and see if renting or buying makes more sense and answer the question, should you buy in California? 
According to data from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, the median home value in California is just above $830,000, compared to the national median of $416,000. And home values in the state of California actually this past year have gone down 1.5%, but those home values that everybody's forecasting for next year that are going to drop, they are saying that it's going to be a 6.2% percent increase in property values nationwide. What's that mean, Rob? Well, basically, California is a high-priced property market that's seen moderate decreases in the past year, but we're looking at a probable uptick of 6.2%. And in a vacuum, this is actually the best market that you can buy into right now because we have a lull in prices. Yeah, we're on the dip. And we are on the dip. Whether you rent or buy depends on the rental market as well, Frank. Here's that info, Rob. The average rent in California is just under $2,600, which is not quite twice the national average rent of $1,486. And with rent being a bit lower and the local market facing a down period, renting would seem to be the preferable option, but it's not quite that simple. The question of rent versus buy isn't just about how much money you make, home values, and average rents. That's right, Rob. It's also a matter of how long you're planning to stay in one location. So let's explain the break-even horizon, Rob. This is a great idea, Frank. So the term break-even horizon refers to the point in the future when owning a home becomes more financially rewarding than renting. So owning a home is more expensive than renting right now. So in a typical market, those first several years of renting are going to be cheaper than paying a mortgage, insurance, maintenance, and California property taxes on a home. However, while you're paying down your mortgage, you're also accumulating equity as your home value increases. And Frank, this means that at some point, the amount of your equity will exceed the cumulative savings of a typical renter over that same period of time. So in down markets, this could take years or even decades, but in healthy ones, like we're pretty much in right now, that time is typically short. Yeah, and here's the deal, Rob, in California, the break-even horizon is relatively relatively brief, two years and 10 months. Let's break down the numbers to further explain why. So if you pay a conventional down payment of 20% on an average Northern California home, and that average median price is $548,000, well, you would pay out a little over $247,000 in the first three years, including your down payment, mortgage payments, taxes, and typical maintenance costs. However, in that period, you're going to also be accumulating home equity. So once you figure that in, you're going to find that you really only spent around $109,000. So let's say you rent it over the same time. In the first year, your costs will be much lower than the buyer since all you're paying is the average rent of $2,600 a month. Yeah, but Frank, you're not accumulating equity. So your payouts aren't being mitigated there. So a little past that three-year mark, you're going to have paid out $114,000 in rent while the buyer only laid out $109,000 after taking equity into account. So I guess the answer to the question, should you buy or rent your next house is going to come down to your plans. Right. How long are you planning to settle down? If you're only going to live in a place for maybe a year or two, renting might make more sense. However, if you're going to stay there for three years or more, then buying would be a good idea and it becomes a better idea the longer you stay. So if you're ready to settle down and are interested in buying a home in Northern California, there's no better partner for your home buying journey than us, Robin Frank, here at the Radio Realtors with EXP Realty. Right, Frank. So give us a call right now at 833-32-RADIO. That's 833-32-RADIO. This right now, I'm going to tell you guys, is the best time to be a home buyer because a lot of people are hibernating for the winter. They are getting into the holiday mode. They're forgetting all about this until the new year. And then when interest rates go down, everybody's going to come back into the picture. So you want to do it now. You can call us at 833-32-RADIO, 833-32-RADIO, or you can live chat with a member of our team anytime at our website, RadioRealtors.com. That's RadioRealtors.com. And don't go anywhere because we'll be back right after this. You know what? 
that sound is? That's your wake-up call. What do you need to wake up from? It's the nightmare of paying your landlord's mortgage. Think about this. If you're paying $2,500 a month for rent, you're paying $30,000 of your landlord's mortgage a year, and that should have you waking up in a cold sweat. Why not make a resolution today to buy your very own home? Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is ready to help you. The market has changed, and it's leaning towards being a buyer's market, and that means you could buy a home now, not overpay, or be in a bidding war, and maybe even get some of your closing costs paid for you. Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is a mortgage master, and he specializes in customizing a loan for your unique situation. Jeff even has down payment assistance loans and ideas to buy down your interest rate. Answer your wake-up call. Call Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage at 916-765-2900 or apply online at jeffcompton.com, NMLS ID number 298997. Thank you for calling Jeff Compton's office. It's a great day to buy a home. How can we help you? This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. Who are you? Some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Kramer. Let's go to the All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show, proudly coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios. And if you want the turkey special, meaning that you want to get your carpets clean, your tiles clean, your hardwood floors, whatever you need cleaned that's a surface, Zero Res can probably do it, and they can do it safely and effectively, and it's safe for your entire family. Go to ZeroResSacramento.com. Get the turkey special because that means that you're guaranteed to get it done before the holidays, and it's special pricing. Go to ZeroResSacramento.com. That's ZeroResSacramento.com, and tell them that the Radio Realtor sent you. My name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere of real estate. And we're talking to you today about rent versus buy in California, which is right for you. And, you know, it is a conundrum. It is one of those, like, the ageless questions that people ask. And you know what? I have found, Frank, that I don't know anybody that's bought a home that has lived in that home for three years or more that were upset that they bought a home. Not do, one. Do you know anybody? Not one. The only time that I can think that that might have happened was back in 2008 when people bought homes and we had that crisis, you know, the the Great Recession. Well, sure. And, you know, there was a lot of foreclosures and things, but that was because we had some terrible loans out there. People had those neg am loans, they had pick a payment loans and all that. Well, fortunately, we're not seeing that type of thing. And no. we don't have any of our lenders are not doing those types of loans right no, now. No, no, no. So that is one of the toughest questions that that people have to address. And yeah, when you are a renter, you know, you don't have to worry if the roof starts leaking or you've got a hot water heater issue or something's wrong with the toilet or whatever, guess who you get to call? You get to call the landlord and hopefully they come out and they get that fixed for you, right? Well, when you own a home, unfortunately, you those are the are landlord. Your, yeah, you are the landlord. So you have to fix those things, right? And if property taxes go up, you have to pay for property taxes. But at the same time, while you are enjoying being a carefree tenant, you're not building equity. And that's one of the biggest things that people build when they buy a home because every single month they are investing into their financial future because they're building equity every single month. And also not getting the write-off. Right. Now, and that's another thing, right? And so we talked about this thing called the break-even horizon, and that refers to that point in the future when owning a home becomes financially more rewarding than renting. And we found that for the most part in California, it's the three-year mark. But I will tell you, Frank, I've had clients where they bought a year or 18 months in California, and they already hit that break even point. So buying in California is a good thing because property values do usually yes. increase. Yes. And you know what? We have proof that they went down one and a half percent during this year. Well, they're predicted to go up 6.2%. So all those people that were thinking we're going to have a crash, interest rates are going to go down, 
values are going to go down. Well, right now is when the values have dropped a That's little right. bit. That's and right. so it is your opportunity right now. We want you to give us a call if you are thinking about buying a home because we have somebody coming into the studio and we are setting up a Zoom buyer seminar that is going to be great. And it's happening early next month and we'll give you all the details a little bit later in the show. And then you can always go to our website to sign up. But if you're still on the proverbial fence debating whether it's the best for you to buy or rent your next house, we're going to give you some major reasons why buying a home is better than renting. And before we jump into that, Frank, I just want to give them our number real quick. 833-32-RADIO is the number. 833-32-RADIO. So what's the first thing, Frank? Okay, long-term buying is cheaper than renting. Yeah, you know, because rent is money that, like you said earlier, you don't get back, right? That's right. When you're renting a home, you are making monthly payments for a property that you don't own, which means that you don't build equity. And Rob, I think we all agree that a home is a major purchase and can be initially expensive. But if you consider the fees that come with renting, buying, and owning a home will ultimately be cheaper. And Frank, in a lot of cases, buying a home can be comparable in cost to renting, even with the higher interest rates. And of course, paying off a property that you own is way better than paying off somebody else's asset. I agree, Rob. Now, number two, buying a home allows you to build wealth over time. Yep. Having a house of your own, it's a smart way to build lifelong wealth, Frank, because a home is a valuable asset and it's worth more than just simply having a place to live in. That's right, Rob. Real estate properties have been known to increase in value over time or appreciate. No other asset can build your wealth more consistently. Right, Frank. And like we've said before, when you rent, you are building your landlord's wealth and not your own. And combined with leverage, real estate appreciation can offer big returns. Yeah, for instance, if you purchase a property worth $450,000 and it appreciates to $495,000, well, you already have a 10% return on your property. Nothing like equity, Rob. Yep. Now, number three, buying a home lets you lower your living expenses substantially in the long run. Yeah, Frank, for a lot of people, the idea of living mortgage-free or rent-free someday it's super attractive. I know it is for me. And this is not something that you're going to be able to do if you're renting a home. Of course, Rob, you'll still need to be responsible for paying property taxes and insurance, but that is a minimal expense compared to the cost of renting a home. Preach it, Frank. Now, number four is you have all the power to make that home your own. Right. Do you want to remodel your bathroom? or update your kitchen, or put in a pool. It's your call if the house is yours. Yeah, and owning a home allows you to do whatever you like with it, from repainting the walls to full remodels. And the flexibility that purchasing your own home provides is a seriously appealing aspect to a lot of people, Frank. And Rob, if you own your home, you have the freedom and full control to do what you want with it without having to worry about extra fees, lease contracts, terms, and other costs associated with renting. Okay. Uh, Lastly, number five is buying a home gives you stability. That's right, Rob. Most homeowners will agree that the privacy, peace, and stability of owning a home is beyond price. Now you're talking about priceless, right? Right, Rob. Buying a home means that your children will always have a place to call their own, the opportunity to go to school in a good district, and good friends who live nearby. This is so true, Frank, and it's been my family's experience for sure. What's the wrap-up, Rob? Well, as you can see, there are many reasons why buying a home is better than renting. Not only does it help you save on your rental costs and help you to build your net worth, buying a home empowers you and your family and gives you the stability that you need to create lasting memories as you build a life together. That's right. Renters do not have the opportunity to make long-term investments in their property, which will appreciate over time and increase their net worth. In addition to that, owning a home can have a lot of benefits. Homeowners get to capitalize on their home's equity, which accumulates over time. They also get to enjoy tax deductions on mortgage interest payments and other homeowner expenses. I like that one. And Frank, paying off your home will also enable you to live mortgage-free, and this will support a very comfortable retirement. And someday down the road, your home will be worth more than what you paid for it. And if you decide to sell... 
you'll cash in on your home's higher value. Right, and you may also have the potential of having a passive income in the future by renting out that home if you decide to go that way. And like we said, with every rent check you write, you're helping to build equity in your landlord's property. That money could be going toward building equity in a home of your own. That's true, Frank. And rent prices usually go up over time. So do home prices as well. And while you can't control what you pay for rent, you can control what you pay to live in your own home. And the point is, life gets more expensive over time. There's no doubt about that. And the only way to secure your housing future is to own your home. So why not let us help you get into the home of your very own? There really isn't a better time. There really isn't a better time, Frank. And I can tell you, we have that story about the client of ours that we helped buy a home, but before that, they were renting a home. They rented that home for 22 years, and eventually they paid off their landlord's mortgage. And that landlord said, you know what? I think that now my mortgage is paid off. I think I'm going to sell my home. Well, this guy had paid off that mortgage. And you know, it's sad for that tenant because he no longer had a place to live. But we got a silver lining. But we do have a silver lining because we helped him buy a home. But here's the deal. Now he is building his own equity, right? right? And you can't cry over spilt milk. You can't look back and go, man, I wish I would have done it. Can't worry about ifs and buts. You can't, you know, and everybody has big butts, right? Yes. Okay. So what we're saying to you is don't have have butts, don't have regrets, buy a home now or at least look into it and let us help you. Give us a call right now. 833-32-RADIO is our number. 833-32-RADIO or live chat with us 24-7 at RadioRealtors.com and don't go anywhere. We got Butterball coming in next. You know what that sound is? That's your wake-up call. What do you need to wake up from? It's the nightmare of paying your landlord's mortgage. Think about this. If you're paying $2,500 a month for rent, you're paying $30,000 of your landlord's mortgage a year, and that should have you waking up in a cold sweat. Why not make a resolution today to buy your very own home? Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is ready to help you. The market has changed, and it's leaning towards being a buyer's market, and that means you could buy a home now, not overpay, or be in a bidding war, and maybe even get some of your closing costs paid for you. Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage is a mortgage master and he specializes in customizing a loan for your unique situation. Jeff even has down payment assistance loans and ideas to buy down your interest rate. Answer your wake-up call. Call Jeff Compton with Guild Mortgage at 916-765-2900 or apply online at jeffcompton.com and MLS ID number 298-997. Thank you for calling Jeff Compton's office. It's a great day to buy a home. How can we help you? This, this is a radio realtor. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. Who are you? Some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The radio realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some. All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show, proudly coming to you live from the Zero Res Sacramento Carpet Cleaning Studios. And if you want your carpets, your tile floors, your wood floors, your upholstery, your area rugs, all of those cleaned without harmful chemicals, you need to go to Zero Res Sacramento. They're the only place that we recommend to do any of that stuff. Right, Frank? Yeah, no harmful chemicals. No harmful chemicals? Yeah, I like that. Or residues. I'm Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consigliere of real estate. And Frank, this part of the show is going to make me hungry, I know already. The things we do for our (laughs) listeners, Rob. That's true. This is epic. Yeah, but you know, every year around 100,000 people call the Butterball Turkey Talk line at 1-800-BUTTERBALL or they can text. You can text them at 844-877-3456 to ask a host of burning questions. Well, hopefully there's no 
burning involved here. <laughs> right, Frank. And for our listeners who don't know, the Butterball Turkey Talk Line is a service by the Butterball Turkey Company that's been answering people's Thanksgiving and just turkey-related questions since 1981. And it's just as amazing as it sounds because around 50 people sit in a room and literally they just help anxious Americans have a happy holiday like you and me. Then you can even call on Thanksgiving itself, Frank. And for the most part, Rob, these callers ask questions about the turkey itself, but you can also ask them about your mashed potatoes or even your green bean casserole. Mashed potatoes. I like the way you said that, Frank. Yep. And the good people at Butterball, you know, they're not specifically trained on how to make an ideal casserole, but if they can help you, they will. And just like listening to the Radio Realtors, in case you were wondering, you can also call Ask Butterball from your Alexa, because after all, this is the 21st century. Right. And just like the Radio Realtors, earlier this week, we made a post on Facebook asking you, our listeners, to call or text in with your questions about turkey. And instead of just referring you to the Butterball Turkey Talk Line, we thought what better way to get the right answers than to have an interview with Andrea Bolatevich. She is a turkey talk line expert from Butterball. So welcome to the Radio Realtors there, Andrea. Well, thanks for having me. We're here at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. And like you said, for the last 40 some years, we have been talking turkey, helping hosts with those holiday tips, turkey tips, and also providing a little bit of emotional support along the way. (laughs) Everybody needs that emotional support, no (laughs) doubt. So Andrea, we have a lot of questions from our listeners for you, but we understand that every year, the biggest question you receive on the Butterball Turkey line is, how in the heck do I thaw this thing? Is that true? And if so, what's the answer? That is absolutely true. We have been flooded with calls on how long it takes to thaw turkey because not everyone prepares a turkey every day. So you get this large turkey home and you go, oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. There's a little formula. It takes one full day to thaw every four pounds of turkey. And so if you have a large turkey, say 20 pounds, it's going to take a good five days to thaw in your refrigerator. And then once it's completely thawed, you still have four days of like a grace period before you need to roast it. So we always say the Thursday before Thanksgiving is a great day to start thinking about thawing your turkey. Get it in the refrigerator on a tray. If you've forgotten and you're down to the last minute, you can also do cold water thawing. That definitely speeds up the process. You submerge the turkey in cold tap water. Keep refreshing that water every 30 minutes. It's going to thaw about one pound every 30 minutes. But then definitely keep it in the refrigerator for food safety. So, Andrea, one more time. If you have a 20-pound frozen turkey, how long should it be defrosting in your refrigerator before you get it in the oven? Right. So a 20-pound turkey is typically going to take about five days to thaw in your refrigerator. Mm. So you really need to plan ahead. Yeah, so you just can't be doing last-second thawing. So I guess I understand why people probably right at the very end, they're going, hey, how do I thaw this thing? And they just pull it out maybe at 9 a.m. and start going. So our first question for Butterball from our listeners, Andrea, is from Barbara in Orangevale, California. And she says, what's the best way to roast a turkey to give it that classic golden Thanksgiving turkey look? You know what we're talking about there? Oh, (laughs) yeah. So I have some tips. You definitely want to make sure that the turkey is completely thawed and so that you don't have any ice crystals on the turkey or on the skin. You want to pat it dry and then spray it with a vegetable oil spray or like a vegetable oil. You can just brush it on. You're going to want to roast it in your oven and you could either do it in your regular conventional oven or convection oven. Now the convection oven really gives it that deep golden brown color because of that forced air heat. So a convection oven is great. Conventional oven is going to give you just a little bit of a lighter brown color, but definitely putting that oil on is going to give it that golden brown color and it's going to smell so good cooking in your oven. Awesome. I'm getting hungry right now. (laughs) Me too. Okay. So our next question is from Doug in Rancho Cordova, California, and he wants to know, what can I do to prevent dry turkey? Yeah. 
So I have a couple tips for that here at the Butterball Turkey Talk line as well. Again, back to thawing. You want to make sure it's completely thawed before you start roasting so that you don't have to overcook it in order to get those frozen spots cooked. So definitely keeping in mind that thawing takes a long time. Plan that one full day for every four pounds of turkey so that it goes into the oven completely thawed. Now, the second tip is cooking to the right temperature. When you cook to the proper temperatures, your turkey won't be dry. Definitely not a butterball anyways. You want to make sure you take the temperature in a couple of places with a meat thermometer, place it deep into the breast of the turkey, and that should reach 170 degrees. Mm. Then you know it's done. And also in the thigh, 180 degrees. You want to have it to those right temperatures to know it's fully cooked. And then finally, Once it is cooked, let it rest. When you allow the turkey to rest after it's done cooking, the juices will redistribute through the meat muscle and it makes it so much easier for carving. The meat won't shred and then you won't lose those precious juices as well. So you'll have a nice juicy turkey. Wow. Now, when you say you let the turkey rest, how long are we talking about it? Did you say? Yeah. So a turkey will stay hot for a long time. 20 to 30 minutes is a great timing to keep it out of the oven. But if you want to hold it longer, you can place foil over it and then clean dish towels. And it'll stay for a, so hot for at least an hour or two. Now, and nobody likes dry turkey, no. that's for sure. Now, our next question is from Belinda in North Highlands, California, and she's asking, what type of thermometer is the best for cooking a turkey? And I'm sure you got the answer to that, right? <laughs> Well, of course you want to use a thermometer that's accurate. Now, the instant read thermometers that are new are great because they give you that temperature within seconds. If you have one that you can leave in the oven, then you're going to place that in the turkey and it'll stay in the oven the whole time and it'll keep rising. But it does take a little bit longer for those to read the temperature. So those instant read digital thermometers are a little bit more accurate and they are best. Good deal. So, Frank, what's the next question? Yeah, this is from Gabriella in El Dorado Hills, California. Andrea, what are giblets or maybe giblets? The same thing. Right. <laughs> yes. <they're, laughs> so, I call them giblets. Okay. But Butterball packages the giblets in an oven safe, food safe bag, and they're always tucked under the next skin in the turkey. Sometimes people forget to take them out. But when you do remember, in the bag is the heart, the gizzard, and the liver. Mm. And a lot of people will chop these items up and use it for flavoring for their gravy or for a stock or add it to their stuffing. So you're saying that those should be removed from the turkey cavity before you cook it, right? You can, but if you don't, it's not a problem because it's in that oven safe, food safe bag. Sometimes people forget and then they find it as a surprise when they're carving. So it's not harmful, but um, (laughs) people like to use them. (laughs) Well, here's our last listener question for you, Andrea, and it's from Casey in Sacramento. And this is her first year making a turkey. And she said, what advice would you give me making my first turkey this year? Oh, good. A new host. Well, good luck. But (laughs) definitely give us uh, a call at 1-800-BUTTERBALL. And also check out our website, butterball.com, because we have some how-to videos and we really walk through all the preparation and it's not that hard. So plan ahead, make sure you have that time to thaw the turkey, have all of your equipment ready to go and have your meat thermometer so that you don't overcook the turkey and give us a call if you have any questions. So the best advice for Casey is use that turkey calculator, right? I mean, that's a good idea. If she's going to have 20 people, she needs to calculate what she needs. Once she gets the turkey, she's going to have to make sure she's thawing it in advance, using a quality meat thermometer that's accurate, right? You got to have that. And then reach out to you guys if she needs any help, right? Absolutely. We're going to be standing by and we'll be here on Thanksgiving Day too. Wow. Well, once again, everyone, you can simply call 1-800-BUTTERBALL. It doesn't get too much easier easier than that. Call 1-800-BUTTERBALL or you can text them, which is such a cool thing that you can text Butterball. I'm panicking. You know, uh, go ahead and you can text them at 844-877-3456. That's 844-877-3456. 
3456. Or you can use Alexa by saying, Alexa, ask Butterball, and you can access expert guidance from your speaker. Yeah, your smart speaker, you can be really smart if you ask Butterball. That is amazing. So, and also, I mean, you got a really easy website too. It's Butterball.com. That's Butterball.com, right? Yeah, we have videos, recipes, all kinds of information, uh, our products. It's a great resource. So I got a question for you. Is there any other words of wisdom that you'd like to impart on our audience today there, Andrea? Well, definitely plan ahead. Make sure that you have everything organized, ready to go, have your turkey thawing in plenty of time. And you can also give people assignments on Thanksgiving Day. So be ready to hand out some assignments to help have everybody help the hosting and make sure you take your temperature with your meat thermometer of your turkey. There you go. Delegate is one of the key things. I think that that's a great answer. Well, thank you so much for being on the Radio Realtors today, Andrea. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Andrea. You're awesome. Now, we got to go to break, but before we do, we're going to give you the opportunity to win a $15 gift certificate towards a Butterball turkey, courtesy of Butterball, of course, and the Radio Realtors. And for your chance to win, all you got to do is text the word Butterball right now to 833-32-RADIO. That's the word Butterball to 833-32-RADIO. And we'll be back right after this. Did you know that right now is the best time to buy a home? And don't just take my word for it. Financial expert Dave Ramsey is saying it. Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran is saying it. So why is now the best time to buy? Well, let me tell you. Of course you know interest rates are up. However, home prices have actually stabilized. And because a lot of people have decided to wait, there are fewer buyers right now. And that means no bidding wars. And some sellers are willing to negotiate. In fact, Perea Shavali with Empire Home Loans has down payment assistance loans and even interest rate buy-down programs that can drastically reduce your monthly payment. Don't wait until everyone else is back in the buying market and prices go up. Register for Empire Home Loans Next Home Buying Seminar and be educated on why right now is the best time to buy a home. Empire's next webinar is Tuesday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Space is limited, so register today at parealoans.com. That's P-O-O-R-I-A loans.com. NMLS number 209-9042. This, this is a Radio Realtors. I sold the house. This is a home. This is a place to live. This is a place to live. Northern California's longest running show on real estate. Real estate is not just buying and selling houses. What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Real, real estate agent? I love real estate. I love real estate. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it. The Radio Realtors. I love every second. Now, here's your host, Robert Lewis and Frank Crandall. Let's go and sell some homes. All right, welcome back to the Radio Realtors. We are Northern California's number one real estate radio show. We're probably coming to you live from the Zero Res Carpet Cleaning Studios, and you heard it from Frank himself. They are the best because he's eating off his floors at home. No, <laughs> but they're safe enough for pets and babies, and you're probably just resting on the floor now and just enjoying yourself, right? No, I got to go home and put everything back. You got to put everything yeah. back? Yeah. yeah. Now, and if you don't want them to have to move everything, and I know you guys definitely oh. did, but you don't have to. You could just like move things a little bit or yeah. or they can clean around and just clean the well-trafficked areas. But whatever you do, you need zero res and ask for the turkey special. That's what Frank got and that's pretty darn good. So It's pretty uh, cheap, yes, I have to tell yeah, you. Pretty inexpensive. Not yeah, let's cheap. do it that it's way. It's not cheap. It's right? not cheap. It's not cheap because yeah. cheap means it's lousy, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it, this is a, it's an inexpensive way to get your carpets cleaned and they have... It's zero res stands for zero residue. They don't have residue on the carpets like some of the other cleaners, and right? And the solutions smell wonderful. It does. The solution does. smells good. <laughs> Is that the ZR water? Yeah. Yeah, it smells fantastic. It does. It's its own scent. It's not like a Dolce Gabbana kind of fragrance, but <laughs> no, it's no. good. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, get a hold of them at zeroresacramento.com. That's zeroresacramento.com. Tell them the radio realtor sent you. My name is Robert Lewis, your real estate professor. And I'm Frank Crandall, your consul yeti of real estate. And we have in the studio one of our favorite people. His name is Farnoosh Vahedi, and he is 
a broker? You're a mortgage loan officer. What is your title? Because you like run the show over on your team. So what is your official title there, Farnoosh? I am just a mortgage advisor, but I do have a team that I run. He's a uh, mortgage advisor. So that's a big deal. One yeah. of the humblest guys I've ever yeah, met. Yeah, he absolutely is. And so yeah, you're cool. with Empire Home Loans. Yes, we are. And you're one of our preferred mortgage yep. lenders, you and Perea, who is on your team. But we're excited to have you here because we have been talking to folks about a couple things. One is as we go through the end of this year and into next year, there's kind of a lull in the market. People kind of hibernate like bears for the winter and they go, yeah, you know what? I do want to buy a home, but I'm just going to wait. Wait. You know? Now, why would you say it's a better time for them to be thinking about purchasing a home now rather than waiting? What are some reasons why you would think? Well, thank you for having me. For last week, we had a lot more conversation with the clients for the same a specific reason. Right now, a lot of people, as you mentioned, they forget about buying a house. They go towards their holiday, Thanksgiving, and there are sellers out there that they need buyers. Right. And that will create a really good opportunity for people who are looking to buy a house because sellers are willing to negotiate. So one of the programs that we have is two-on-one buy-down. So two-on-one buy-down? Okay. We have two-on-one buy-down. We have one-on-one buy-down or one oh, just the first year one oh, they call it, buy-down, which is is a great program for first home buyers in the environment that we are and is really working out for most of our clients when they understand how it works. Because I want to be very clear, this program is not an adjustable loan, is it? Right. 30 years fix, it just has a temporary lower rate for the first two years. And to be frank with you, is actually the reason that is lower is because seller is paying the difference. What we do is we calculate it, how much does it cost for the difference of the 2% for first year, another 1% for the second year, and we ask seller to give us the seller credit for the buy down. And the okay. money that we take away from the seller, we put in an account and and when you make your payment 2% lower, the servicer of your loan goes to that account that has the seller's money and take the difference to cover that 2% so they can have their full payment. Ah, okay. So it's I really- I never heard it that way. Really, seller's money there is not that we give you an adjustable mortgage or adjustable rate, is none of those. So it's very safe because after your second year, you are locked in at your original note rate and for 28 years, that's what you're gonna pay. Right. Unless you refinance, but it will be fixed and it's not adjustable from the lender. It's just seller prepays that for you. The right. reason I personally love it versus regular seller credit that people been traditionally using it to buy down the rate permanently or using it for closing costs is once you use that seller credit for your buy down permanent, if you refinance six months from today, year from today, year and a half, you will lose that money, right? Because With you permanent. paid it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Because we all know we're in a high environment rate right now and the rates will coming down. As a matter of fact, today was a really good day for mortgage industry because the consumer price index came and it showed that inflation is going down. So that is giving us a more than hope. We're kind of certain that the Fed Reserve would not be hiking rate in December. And that means that will be the third meeting that they are not hiking rate. So the question will be, when are they starting cutting rate right, versus so hiking? Reduction, yeah. Exactly. So we all know it's going to come down. When you do use two-on-one buy-down program, the amount that we get from the seller is in that account. So if you use it for a year and then you're refinancing, you still have money left in there, which can be used to pay for your uh, refinance costs. If anything left over can be applied as a principal reduction because there's a money sitting there that has to be used. So you're not mm. losing that money that seller gave you. So you can think of it as seller lowering your rate for first year and also paying for your refinance down the line. Wow. Versus you just pay one time, you lower your rate, and then you lose it when you refinance within a year or two. Because right now, actually buying the rate costs a lot. So it's really not a smartest idea. So that two-on-one buy-down really helping people because with a permanent buy-down, maybe you can lower your payment by four or 500 bucks if you really buy it down. But with a 2% lower, I have seen $1,000 or um, $900 difference in a payment. It's and that double huge. the saving. Yeah. It's huge. So it's a really great program. It's not adjustable mortgage. You don't lose the money. And if you use it, rate doesn't come down. After the third year, you go back to your normal payment. And what we qualify you want is not the lower rate. So down the line, you're not in trouble not be able to make your payment because we qualify you on a 
fully noted rate. So you're well qualified within the guidelines. So right. there will be no payment shock or anything else down the line for you. Yeah, I mean, it's at a tremendous opportunity. My question to you is, number one, is that is something that we can do right now. Absolutely. But, that is the time. But if, let's say, rates do come down on their own, let's say the Fed in January or whatever says, hey, you know what, we're going to make a pretty big slash on this because this is a, it's an election year. You know, we need to, you know, make the Americans happy. We need to make, you know, the general public happy. So let's say they drop that by 2% magically. Will you be able to probably get these buy downs from sellers, do you think? Absolutely not. And why is that? Because they say per every 1% that the mortgage rate comes lower or goes lower, there will be 5 million buyers coming back to the market. Yeah. So with right. the area that yeah. we are in with no inventory, rate comes down, buyers come in, there will be competition, there will be more offers for sellers. You have to go above to get the house versus asking for a seller. You're talking credit. about multiple offers again. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And see, and that's what we have been saying for weeks and weeks. Yeah. We, and we love November and December because we love Thanksgiving and Christmas and celebrate, you know, Jesus's birth and all those things. But one of the things is that we love is that this is a, opportunity for buyers and sellers, but especially for buyers right now that you could maybe get everything that you want and you might even be able to get a lower rate now because you have this 2-1 buy down. So if you're interested in this, you need to give us a call. 833-32-RADIO. We'll put you in touch with Farnoosh and Perea. They can do all this over the phone on a Zoom call or you can come to their office, which is a very nice office by the way. So we're putting together something with you and it's going to be what we call the RWA Home Buyer Seminar. We're going to be doing that on a monthly basis, and we're starting our first one on December 5th, and it's going to be from 7 to 8 p.m. Can you kind of just in a, a, like real quickly give us an idea of what people can expect in that type of seminar? It's not just your run-of-the-mill home buyer seminar. It's an education experience, right? Absolutely. We're very excited. We have been working on this uh, for months because we are talking to the clients every Every day who want to buy a house, but they hear all this information from social media, friends and family. They all think housing market are going to crash. It's not a good time to buy a house. Oh, rates are high. Prices are high. Uh, this is a no win-win for the buyer. But we have data that I will be showing you that you will understand why those are all misinformation and why you should be buying now. And it's not just your regular seminar. Oh, we're going to help you with the FHA loan, conventional loan, down payment assistance. We do all that. But this one, we're just doing it for people who are want to buy a house, but unfortunately getting misinformation because there's a lot of them nowadays on a social media. Everyone wants to click like, so they say anything or whatever to get that. Right. Or friends or family who experienced it 2008, you know? Oh yeah. Say, oh, this is market is going to crash. I just had that conversation an hour ago before I come here and I told them, no, let me show you what real estate has been doing. And it's just almost like a retirement. The sooner you get in, the more wealth you're going to be creating. Right. And right now, as we just talked about, is the absolute best time. We work more in November and December compared to anybody else that goes in a vacation mode because it's absolutely the best time. I remember doing an open house in December and one of our thing that we would tell whoever walk in say, hey, we can get you in before Christmas. Yeah. And that was 10 days before Christmas. Right. So we can do that. We can absolutely deliver that. And that's what we're trying to teach people. So we want people to be aware, make an educational decision in anything that they do because buying a real estate will change everyone's life. It should be looking as wealth creation rather than just on buying a house versus rent or anything else. It's really much deeper than what people are thinking. Yes. You know, do you think that uh, Farnoosh on the way into the studio was listening to the beginning of our show? I think so. I think he was. <laughs> I think he was. Well, so if you'd like to be a part of this seminar, and this is really, it's a real educational yeah. experience. It's going to be super fun. But we call it RWA Status Home Buyer Seminar. And RWA just means that you're ready, willing, and able, right? And then whether you decide to pull the trigger, so to speak, to get it going right away, you can, but you could say, hey, you know what? I got all the information I need. I still want to wait, but we're going to give you all of the data or the data, either one. It's one of those, <laughs> right? We're going to give you all the data that you need to make an informed decision. And it's going to be unlike anything else that you've ever seen because it's going to be an educational experience that you're going to be armed and dangerous when you have a 
conversation with anybody about things because you go, you know what? That's actually not true what you're saying because I got all this information and, and you're going to want to take notes and you're going to want to act on it. So and it's going to be on Zoom and it's going to yeah. be a Zoom seminar. You right in the privacy of your own yeah, home. Yeah, you could exactly. be in your pajamas and come. So There's, it's Tuesday, December 5th at 7 p.m. So it's 7 to 8 p.m. If you decide you want to stick around and we can answer questions and things, but we're going to keep it to an hour and it's just going to be real, real detailed. There's no cost to be uh, involved in it. So you can sign up two ways. One is, well, actually, three ways. You can go to our website. Hopefully, our webmaster has put it on there, and there's a link that says RWA Home Buyer Seminar. It's RadioRealtors.com. You can also go to Perea's website. He's on Farnoosh's team, but it's PereaLoans.com. It's P-O-O-R-I-A Loans.com, and you can actually access that by going to Radio Realtors and hitting the Preferred Vendors link, or you can just call us. Right. What's the number, Frank? 833-32-RADIO. Yeah, that's 833-32-RADIO. Now, Farnoosh, any final uh, thoughts that you'd like to share? I just want to mention, as you said, there's absolutely no obligation. So you sure. just show, we've been doing it for a small group of people, and they will come first time, they understand it, and they come back for a second time. Oh, okay. And they listen to it again, and you, I can guarantee you, you're going to walk away like a black belt buyer. When you All go right. out there, you know black what's going buyer. on, <laughs> yeah. and you know what to do, what to expect, and the things that we focus on and strategize on uh, will help you to be a really good buyer and know what you're doing. Awesome. That's awesome. So once again, you can uh, sign up for the Home Buyer Seminar. It is going to be on Tuesday, December 5th from 7 to 8 p.m. And you can go to our website, RadioRealtors.com or PereaLoans.com, P-O-O-R-I-A Loans.com. Or once again, you can give us a call at 833-32-RADIO, 833-32-RADIO. Or you can live chat with us 24-7 with a member of our team at RadioRealtors.com. Farnoosh, thanks for being on the Thank Radio you, Realtors. Farnoosh. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. And unfortunately, Frank, that's all the time we have left for the show. Make it a great week, everybody. Did you know that right now is the best time to buy a home? And don't just take my word for it. Financial expert Dave Ramsey is saying it. Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran is saying it. So why is now the best time to buy? Well, let me tell you. Of course you know interest rates are up. However, home prices have actually stabilized. And because a lot of people have decided to wait, there are fewer buyers right now. And that means no bidding wars. And some sellers are willing to negotiate. In fact, Perea Shivali with Empire Home Loans has down payment assistance loans and even interest rate buy-down programs that can drastically reduce your monthly payment. Don't wait until everyone else is back in the buying market and prices go up. Register for Empire Home Loans Next Home Buying Seminar and be educated on why right now is the best time to buy a home. Empire's next webinar is Tuesday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Space is limited, so register today at PereaLoans.com. That's P-O-O-R-I-A Loans.com. NMLS number 209-9042. Rob here reminding you that you can hear all of our shows on the Radio Realtors podcast through Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Pandora, and more. Please give the Radio Realtors podcast a five-star review and share the link with your friends. Access it now at RadioRealtors.com.